Madi Kizela Mandela's death on April 2, 2018, at the age of 81, after a long illness, was met by an outpouring of emotion across the country, with the ruling African National Congress and opposition parties holding memorials in remembrance of her courage in the struggle to end white minority rule. The official funeral service for the ex-wife of late Nelson Mandela took place on Saturday morning in Soweto, a Johannesburg township at the forefront of the battle against apartheid where she lived. Mourners sang and cheered as Winnie Mandela's body was brought into the Orlando Stadium where the funeral service took place. <laughs> The 40,000-seater stadium was full to capacity, with many mourners clad in green and yellow colors of the ANC. Members of the leftist party, the Economic Freedom Fighters, also attended in large number. Also present at the service were South Africa's former President Thabo Mbeki and Jacob Zuma, as well as foreign dignitaries from Kenya, Namibia, and Lesotho. During Mandela's 27-year incarceration for his fight against apartheid, Madi Kizela Mandela, popularly referred to as Winnie, campaigned for his release and for the rights of black South Africans undergoing detention, banishment, and arrest. For many South Africans, the most memorable image of Madi Kizela Mandela is her punching the air in a clenched fist salute as she walked hand in hand with Mandela out of Victor Vista Prison near Cape Town on February 11, 1990. For husband and wife, it was crowning moment that led four years later to the end of centuries of white domination when Mandela became South Africa's first black president. Madi Kizela Mandela's legacy, however, was later tarnished. As evidence emerged in the dying years of apartheid of the brutality of our Soweto enforcers known as the Mandela United Football Club, some South Africans questioned her mother of the nation, Sabrukwe. In 1991, Madikizela Mandela, referred to as Winnie, was convicted of kidnapping and being an accessory to assault, but her six-year jail sentence was reduced to a fine and a two-year suspended sentence on appeal. Yusuf Nadabo Usman, 2-6 News.